Hi folks, and welcome back. So in the last mission, uh, Kerrigan, having liberated Korhal, then turned on her allies who'd helped her and destroyed them. Uh, she was extremely worried about how dangerous they might eventually become. So, after that, she said uh, for the first time since her transformation, or transfiguration, she had become worried of the slaughter. And she decided to head back to Tarsonis to rest, and we're going to see what happens then in the next mission, Fury of the Swarm. Our scouts have just discovered a massive wave of Zerg in high orbit. Hundreds of Zerg have landed upon Tarsonis and are even now approaching our location. A number of our outposts are already under attack by the Renegade Swarm. So the UED is testing out the control of the Pet Overmind. I had hoped to lay low after we raised Korhal, but it seems the UED is intent on forcing my hand. Shall I rally your forces, my queen? Yes, we've got to defend our remaining outposts and make sure that the Renegades can't gain a foothold in our immediate vicinity. Once we've secured our perimeter, we'll begin to take the fight to their hive clusters. There we go. So we need to secure our perimeter and then destroy the Renegade Zerg. So let's go. There's going to be a lot to uh, juggle at the start of this mission because actually they're going to be... Honestly, they're going to wipe this out. So we're not going to... We're not going to spend ages worrying about those. In fact, I'm going to see if we can get Burrow just to preserve some of these units. Uh, they are going to massacre that, and we're just going to have to deal with it. So what we're going to do in the meantime is drone up over here. Uh, we've got a defensible position here, and we're going to focus on preserving our resources. I don't know if we're actually going to get Burrow in time. These might be able to hide down here, though. And it would be quite All nice to get some units hidden. I don't know if we've got any... Have we not, have they not given us any drones over here? They've not. So, actually, we might be able to hide those units there and use them later. Oh, no, they found them. Got a couple of overlords though that have not been damaged, so we'll definitely keep using those. We are going to need to retake those bases quite quickly. I didn't mean to. There we go. Zerg 6. Now, none of these overlords are actually really. Uh, lost it. None of those overlords are really essential, but there's no harm in keeping them, especially to keep tabs on these bases. And then they will run in and they'll start, I believe they'll start building here. So we've got a lot of expansions that we really need to rush and take. So we've got a lair, so we can get start to get some Overlord upgrades. Have we got a spawn? We've got a spawning pool. Do we have a Hydralisk den? We do not have a Hydralisk den. So actually, that would be a really nice one to take as soon as we can. Now, if that can get out of there, that would be great. I would love to keep tabs on these bases. Yeah, I think I think we might be able to do it. Um, so, uh, D for a hydralist Dan, not H, because H is for hatchery. They're giving us a spire already. That'll be very useful for building up lots of mutalists and guardians, which, air heavy mission, we are going to need them. But we really need the drones first. Now, we also need to be careful because obviously they are going to start drops on us soon as well. And we're going to need, we're going to need our own um, Overlord Ventral Sacks ability. Now, what I do remember them doing is they drop, there's a sort of little patch of land here that they can actually drop units on. Uh, let's get the speed upgrade from the Zergling from there. And actually, let's get the Hydralisk great. Ah, can't yet, because we need more Vespine. I'm actually going to put another from Minerals into Vespine, because I think we need the other. Let's get some more drones going. Got some vision there, because I think they're going to drop units off here. Uh, we've got faster overlords now, which will be very nice. We certainly do require more minerals. Okay. 
And I think we can start thinking... I think we've actually probably got enough drones now, so we can start thinking about some of the other upgrades we need. So let's start rallying units around here. We have located a small Terran facility towards the rear of the Renegade's landing zone. There appears to be a number of UED scientists working within the compound, but we are unable to determine the purpose of their presence. I know what they're up to. I suspected that the UED's control of the Overmind was tenuous. Tarsonis is too remote for them to maintain direct control over the swarms. So they've sent these scientists to coordinate their attack. Celebrate. Focus your attacks against the Terran facility. All of the UED scientists must be killed. Only then will we be able to finish off these renegade Zerg. So that's going to be our objective. Kill the UED scientists. And you know what? I think it's going to be really good for that. Sweeping in with tons of guardians and just sniping away. Now we're going to have to watch out because obviously they're going to build anti-air units. But let's see what other... Oh, do you know what we definitely should do? We should definitely get a couple of evolution chambers. And I actually, I do literally mean a couple because then we can get two upgrades going at a time once we've got the gas. There we go. You two go and mine over here. We should definitely also get some more creep colonies. Now we're doing okay for minerals at the moment. Let's get the overlord transport ability. They're uh, building up a base here. Can you see anything over here? Are they built? Yeah, they're, they're going to start mining from there. We've got lurkers to deal with. Let's get a creep colony up here. And then we can turn that into a spore colony. Uh, let's get some, let's get start on the mutalisks as well. Now, what can you see? And if we could sweep over here and build a load of bases up, then that's really good. In fact, there is a potentially very cheeky thing we can do, which is to put a Nidus canal on their base. We can put Nidus on their creep, which is uh, quite amusing. It's just finding a good a good place to do that that it isn't going to get shut down very quickly. But it's certainly a strategy that's doable. So they're going to start, yeah, spore colonies. But we're definitely going to need to look into getting some uh, gas expansions. Actually, I'm going to put this down and make one here in case they get any mining, any ideas to respect to mining. Okay. Now, Zerglings, I think. Um, when can we get a hive? Do I want the hive first? Or do I want the Overlord site? I think I want the Overlord site. I want to be able to keep an eye on what's going on over there. Uh, and I'm also going to put up a creep colony in the back of this base to be a uh, something colony. Ah, interesting. Okay, that's fine. Can you escape? And then we bring our mutalisks over. And our hydralisks over. You, you two stop running away for a second. Fortunately, that came into range of us. Overlords and Hydralisks. Right, let's get the... Uh, let's get ranged attack. Yeah, so they're going to... They're going to start driving off our overlords. There we go, punished that. I think we get devourers this mission as well, actually. Oh, no, we... Uh, yeah, we do. 
Although, I don't know how much use they actually are. Um, or how much I'm going to use them at least. Uh, we'll definitely get some more, right, hive. Uh, did I make, yeah, good. <laughs> no rest, really, there. Um, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna be very tempted to kind of cheese it a little bit and uh, put a put Nidus on there, put a Nidus canal on their base. Um, now you can get an upgrade going while we're waiting. Uh, lurker ability would be nice, but I don't think we can afford it just yet. go. That's easily dealt with. Now, here we go. They're on one zero upgrades. I'm not sure how they uh, work with, with regards to upgrades. Now we've got a hive, so you return there and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to put a Nidus Canal up here and I'm going to see if I can actually put it in the enemy base somewhere. It's going to be tricky though. I think actually they're going to have too many defences for us to get away with it, but we can try it. Where can... I wonder if we could get it there. I'm actually going to start getting flyer upgra uh, damage upgrades as well. Or Hydra South. That's annoying. Well, rather than lose that, let's pull it back. Quite happy for them to send those expensive units in like that. It's a possibility to invade in the way I'm thinking. Have they got what have they got defense wise here? You know what? How much is a Nidus network anyway? A Nidus, it's only 150 minerals, so we're not losing that much by trying it. Just going to be a bit quicker than an overlord drop, I think. Um, can we get overlord? No, we don't need overlord sight range. Are there any other? Oh, that would be very nice, especially if we're going to drop a load of zerglings in shortly or fire a load of zerglings off at them anyway. I think we can get away with it down there. I think that's our in. But we've got to be, we've got to time it right as well, because the last thing we want is a load of uh, 
uh, an enemy attack to come in while we've sent all of our forces out down that Nidus Canal. How long is that going to take? I wonder how long the Nidus Canal... Once I'm close to finishing the upgrade, I will put the Nidus network down there. And then we can send a load of drones through as well, which we're going to need to do. Yeah, we definitely need to expand. So I'm going to save before I put it down. Um, and I'm actually tempted to get a load of Hydralisks and Zerglings as a backup in Overlords, just sort of to defend it while it's building. So we'll take these over while that's going on. Can you kill that? Uh, right, we've got the, we've got that now. So let's go in. Let's start this thing. Let's unload these. So we've got them to defend it. Let's keep the mutilisks near. Let's get a mutilisk out of our own. Yes. Actually, we probably could have just got away with a the drop then, but where's the funny map? Now what's attacking up here? Nothing we can't deal with. Although I am going to bring these back to deal with the... Uh, There we go. Our forces are under attack. Actually, let's get the Lurker first. The Lurker's actually a bigger threat. The Sunken Colonies are high single target damage. The Lurker are high splash damage. Let's get the Sunken Colonies. All the static defense is gone first. Yes, okay. And then... We send a load of drones in. Like, I mean, loads of drones in. And we secure ourselves this expansion. Yeah. And then we can very quickly pull our forces back if we need to defend down here. So, let us build a hatchery here. As a, is there a source of... Ve There's no Vespin here. Okay. So, we're going to have to take the up, the one up here for the Vespin gas. But that's fine. We can do that. We've got the means to do that now. The only problem is going to be sort of having our bases spread quite thin. But fortunately, we should be able to back them all up quite quickly. You let all borrow for a second. Uh, these are going to need to come into here. And come into here as well. And we'll get a lot of mining done. Uh, can we get another Mutalisk? Got a full control group of Mutalisks there. Let's get some more out. Uh, let's get some more Hydras. Uh, you, actually, give us an Ultralisk Cavern. You get us some scouting information around here, and we'll push up with... So, I want these all to burrow, and then these forces can come over here. Now that creep will fortunately stay there on that Nidus network, which is uh, quite nice. So, how many mutants are we looking at now? Let's get another one. Because we'll, then we'll move towards Guardians. In fact, can we do that now? Not quite enough for quite enough gas yet. Um, now here we go. Lots of minerals out from here. We've got a land base here now as well. So let's see what we can see over here because lurkers are one thing I can predict as having to deal with a lot of. Um, let's bring our mutilisks over. We've got plenty for base defense now as well. You actually go over there and then go over here. Um, these can be a control group four. Now, what can you see? 
Okay, that's mean. But I'll take it. Let's get the Hydrosts at the back here and see if they can attack. See if they can attack some things. I'm going to have to shut that Lurker down. It certainly is, but which one? Okay. You you pull back, because I don't want to lose that. But I'm going to, aren't I? That's fine. Oh. That was, that was way too costly there. I think we may have dawdled a little bit too long there. That's, uh, that's really cost us. Oh, no, 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 no. gonna go back so let's re let's redo that um, let's check we're going at full game speed as well So we are going to have to watch out for overlords coming over here then, basically. Uh, so let's not leave this completely undefended. In fact, let's make the most of the fact that we're going to have tons of minerals over here. Let's build some defences up. And also, let's do the same over here. So, let's have a look. Um, so, sunken, sunken, sunken. Sunken, there we go. And, yeah, just, just more defences. Um... Actually, I probably overdid that then. But we'll pull, push those through. Um, um, hold on. Build. i tell you what I wanted to do with those. I wanted to... Okay, you you, you don't get over eager there. Uh, these were going to be spore colonies over here. Let's get more. Let's really just go. Let's uh, roll out of. Let's go full on in the uh, static defense train. So I'm actually going to put a spore colony there just in case. Uh, we'll need it for detection as well. Speaking of detection, we'll get some more overlords over here because that was what caused us issues last time. Spore colonies there, spore colony there. Let's get another. Let's get a whole row over here. Let's even get, let's get one there. And you, be a defiler man. Okay, why did you go all over way over there? We'll never know. Probably because I wasn't keeping an eye on you. 
Um, spore colony, mutalisks. Right, also, we want to be getting upgrades. So, we want to be paying very close attention at what, what's going to be happening at that other base over there. Okay, I think we've got enough in the way of defences over here. Where else are they possibly attacking? Right, you go and get those. Let's get these overlords over here. There's probably a few too many overlords there, but that's fine. We'll get those minerals back. You should be mining. Uh, we definitely need that next expansion, though. So, let's see. It's, it is a quite a tricky mission. They, they, I mean, they've already been starting to ramp up, but yeah, they, they, they really do. The difficulty of missions does ramp up. They're, they're doable. Um, I'm certainly not. I wouldn't consider myself like a even close to a StarCraft pro, but I find these manageable. Now that's really going to mess up any kind of drops they try and do over there. Uh, let's get more mutalisks out. We definitely want more mutalisks. Yeah. Now here's a thought. Let's get a load of hydralisks. You're all gonna go and rally there. Let's get some more hydralisks here as well. Uh, you're going to go in group four. She one more, and we've got a full group there as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this high ground here and uh, put some hydralisks in an overlord. Hold them up high see what happens. Let's save before we do it so we don't... Ah, hello. I mean, I'm not really too concerned about uh, that. Can we get another Mutalisk go? So we've got two full control groups there. Oh well. I'm reasonably happy with that actually. But I think we need to answer with some of our own ultralisks. Problem is, Vespine. We really need to ramp up that Vespine. You're going to go and control group four. So four, three. Um, some hydralisks. We need upgrades as well. What can you see over here? Have we got another opportunity to assault? Is this going to be an easy one to assault, I wonder? Same with this one, actually. Should I, should I have gone for the brown zerg first? Hmm. Um. Right, okay. In fact, let's test that theory. While we're waiting for these, let's prod at the brown base. I'm actually going to get that. Uh, greatest, uh, no, let's get the, yeah, let's get the great. Oh, you don't get all the minerals back. You don't get all the gas back. I'm actually gonna, <laughs> I'm actually gonna go back a second there then. Um, because there's no point. I thought you actually got uh, all of it refunded. I didn't realize you only got a small section of it refunded. I should have known that. Right, okay, let's bring some overlords over. 
And in fact, let's just pull all these forces back here for a moment because there's no point in committing to anything over there. Um, just yet, because I don't think we can take it. I think actually it might be worth considering us getting some lurkers at some point as well. Right, so I wonder, if, yeah, were we making a mistake in not targeting the brown base? Or brown bases? One way to find out. What are their defences like here? Hmm. Not great. Ah, hold on, hold on, before we do that. Um, can we deal with that defiler? Yeah, I think the orange are slightly stronger. Right, let's see what else we can do. So actually, I think, let's get another drone out here and you build us a another Nidus network, Nidus canal, sorry. And we're gonna do the same thing over here, because why not? And that will get us a some gas and also an easy, now, I think that might be quite easy to pick off over here as well, actually. So... Let's uh, let's use that fact. We've got a lot of gas to spend. Hydralisks, you get into there. Now, what can you see over here? Yeah, I think, I think we've got another opportunity here. And once we've secured more mineral nodes, it's going to be so much easier to take that base, which was a bit more fortified. All forces are under attack. Now, let's see what we can get done here. Let's get a load of forces rallied around here. Uh, ultralisks. Wouldn't mind getting some upgrades on the ultralisks. I also want to get some unit upgrades in general. And then you all come over here. And then you. You get us vision here. And there we go. Let's get a very small force of some zerglings and some hydralisks over there. And this is going to be our attack. You all go into there. This is actually a quicker way of attacking because it, it will take longer for the overlords to uh, drop them all off. Now hold on a second. Now we want to get that lurker down. There we go. And again, load more drones. Hold on, you have gone way too deep there. Did we lose that ultralisk? I think we did. Right. Did I send them to the wrong? I did. Uh, let's get that speed upgrade. All forces are under attack. Yeah, I think that was much easier to take. So we should have gone for the bottom one first. Now, actually, there's not many minerals to mine here. Uh, it's mostly the gas I want. So, actually, most of you go back there. Oh, hold on. Hydralisks here. Uh, you go back in there and you go back in there because I want you to mine from the gas. 
Um, right. And let's also get these units over here. Now, the thing I'm watching out for down here is lurkers. You two just go in there just in case. Yeah, okay. Now, what can you see over here? Right, before we attack in, we're going to rally. Not rally. Um, we're going to save. And um, we're gonna we're gonna sled, basically sledgehammer them. I think we're just gonna send everything in. If we can get lurkers, we will. Get the defilers, definitely. Now they've come in and attack there, so let's bring these back. Yeah, I thought we might lose it. Meanwhile, let's get these committed to here. Yeah, we've got this. You get mining there, zerglings. Hold on. Two more mutalisks. Um, and let's also get another... Let's get another drone here. Let's get some more drones out here as well, actually. Um, you guys are going to come down here. Actually, we need a lot more drones. Now, see if we can get some armor upgrades. You're going to go in group three. You're going to go in group four. Um, and these are going to go into here. Actually, where's that going to bring you? Oh, that's... Um, oh, we don't... I thought we lost both parts of the Nidus network. Okay. Oh, I never placed it. Because I was going to place it down here. That's what happened. Okay. Yeah, flyer attacks would be nice. There we go. We'll get the Vespine. Uh, and also, I wanted a load of drones over here. Now, we might need four in that, in that um, geyser, but that's okay. Again, more drones. In fact... Let's bring these over here as well. Have we got any more drones waiting around here? No, I don't think so. Now let's actually get some defences down as well. Which is what we can use some of these excess drones for here. We'll get those thick and long distance mine for the moment. That was a lurker. Where did it borrow? Up there. Well, you know what? We can do that. Uh, what other upgrades could we get? Melee attacks. Um, chitinous plating. We don't have enough minerals for it yet. We'll get there. Brutal. There we go. Of course, that makes sense. We are a bit low on the minerals at the moment, but that would be being remedied now. I think, I'm sure I had some drones elsewhere that were, uh, should have been doing something, but I'm going to put another in that gas there as well. 
and then we can think about assaulting that base. I think we're going to get a load of guardians and assault that one. Ah, there's some drones down here. They can definitely go into mining there. Can you rally forces here? Uh, we'll get a couple more overlords as well. Now let's think. What else can we do? Get some of these overlords spread out so we can see the map a bit more. Yeah, I think. Hydralisk. I think it'd be quite nice to assault that with a load of guardians. Can we get any other evolutions going? Yes, we can. Um, let's get that. Although I don't actually know how useful it's going to be. Actually, I think we're I think we're sorted there. Uh, although, uh, couple, I'll get a couple of overlords. Yeah, let's start massing the mutalisks as well. Plenty of defences down here. Could do with a bit more mining. Yeah, because we're only really mining from one base. We're getting gas from a lot, but... So you're going to be group 5 and we're going to start putting... We're going to start looking at guardians. Hold on, you get yourself to safety first. Okay. The hive cluster is under attack. It is. Oh. You burrow, 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 burrow. That's a waste. We're actually gonna have a spare some spare drones there, that's fine, I'll put them into colonies. Oh that's going on. Let's get some more mutilices. Really? Are we, uh, there we go. Okay. In fact, you, you lot hold back here. You get back into mining gas there. Should keep some overlords over here to avoid that kind of run by again. You get in there. You get as a colony there. You get as a colony there. Um, some more mutilists. So group five. Let's just check if those are, yep. Okay, more mutilisks. It's actually minerals that's holding us back now. Fortunately, once we got the mutilisks out, we've got enough gas to uh, we've got enough gas easily to turn them all into guardians, and they're actually fairly cheap on minerals for guardians. Let's definitely get some mining going on here. Sunkens. And um, what else can we get? Um, we need. I think another one mutilisk. Uh, you're gonna go into group five. Yeah, one more mutilisk. And in the meantime, you start turning into guardians. And we're gonna do a big air assault on that base. Um, we will take some, will we take ground units with us? Yes. You get mining. Who else can possibly turn into guardians? You're gonna go you're gonna go into group five as well. We require more minerals. Yeah, if I'd wait a second longer, I wouldn't have actually had to uh, hear that again. Um right, okay. Um what else can we do? We're a bit potentially low on defences there, so that's one thing to watch out for. But I think soon we uh, we make our strike against this base as well. Uh, these are going to come over here. Um, do we get... Yes. Do you know what else? We get the Lurker upgrade. Um, 
when I was uh, when I originally sort of was into um, was sort of originally played through, I really uh, wanted the idea of like a, you know that I, I thought the devourers were automatically more powerful than the mutilists. So I thought you know all guardians and all devourers was like the optimal uh, strategy. <laughs> devourers, I don't know that devourers are particularly bad, but I don't think I'm going to put any in. Uh, I think I'm just going to focus on mutilists because I kind of know how mutilists work, and actually. Again, you look at you look at that and think, oh, uh, t 12 damage, that's not that much. But then you realise when you mass mutilisks, they kill things really quickly. So that's kind of the point of them. Speaking of which, let's get like, these forces in. Oh, you know what we should be getting? We should be getting some of those air carapace upgrades. And we should be getting some of these upgrades as well. Now, can we get these unloading in the middle of this base? Easy peasy does it. Actually, where's the lurkers? I'm sure those lurkers. Did they pull the lurkers out? Hold on, what are you where are you two going? Oh. This could be a bit tasty. What other evolutions could we get? Um not sure how useful plague is actually, but with uh, I tell you what, the, um consume is much more useful. You finish off that spawning pool. Let's get some more hydralisks out there. And now, we'll get some drones to go over as well. Ah, just in time actually. Welcome to the party. Now here's what we do. We build a hatchery. I think we build a hatchery there. Uh, you lot go in there and then you come through here and then you build an extractor here. Let's see if that works. Oh! Those lurkers are causing problems. So, any more drones? We got. Hello. It'd be a shame if something happened to you to file there, wouldn't it? Yeah, that sucks. That must be awful for you. Can't imagine. Let's get these hydralisks up here. Let's get some of these zerglings too, and a couple of uh, when we can, we'll get a couple of uh, more ultralisks as well. Right, you lot, come up here. We're going to need some intense mining here. I don't know. I think three. I think three is plenty enough to go in there. Um, so five here. Hold on. Let's not. Basically, I want to try and one shot you know the defilers um not the defilers the uh their name evades me now right i'm gonna actually transfer some of these over so you're gonna go into there which should bring you out yeah and then you're gonna go there and then you're gonna go and mine there so bring them all together i don't want to attack yet until i'm ready to bump just like that. Now, let's bring these forces down here. Uh, you go back into mining there. Want, uh, n at least another drone for defense. Maybe two. Oh, you unload there because those forces aren't doing any good sitting in the uh, overlord now. Now, what we also want to start getting a view of is what defences are in the way here. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a load of turrets there, which is basically to stop you cheesing by throwing a load of guardians over. 
Uh, you give us some uh, ultralisks, actually. Let's get some more overlords flying over. Now I think we've we've secured sort of a central hive cluster now, so it's just a case of pushing back really. And pushing against their forces over here. Now the thing we're gonna have to watch out for obviously is uh anti-air units that will absolutely ruin our uh in fact I'm gonna take some scourge over as well, just in case. Uh but anti-air units that will absolutely obliterate our uh guardians. Uh, especially worried about wraiths, and I thought I'd taken some got, uh, overlords over. We've got some scourge in the base as well, just in case. In case there's anything big like a battle cruiser or Valkyries, actually, I think would be a good target. Although I don't know how easily Valkyries can take scourge out on the attack. I wonder if there's a way you can kind of uh, flank with the scourge. So, because Valkyrie's firing sort of a cone in front of him. I don't know. Certainly something you could experiment with. You kill that. You hold back there a second. We've got our scourge over here. I think we... Yeah, we took a we took a scourge to one of our mutilists there. Our forces are under attack. Hold on. Now actually, this might be a nice opportunity to really uh, put the hurt on this base. So you're going to go and control group three. Our forces are under attack. Yeah, I think this is uh, going to be unpleasant. Oh, that was also unpleasant for us. So let's try and keep these uh, over here. We've got another mutilus uh, can actually go in group five there. Sure, I press shift five there. Where's that? Mutilisk. Shift 5, there we go. Now there's a load of UED scientists we can kill. And actually, I think we take these forces over here and we load up into the overlords and we take our forces over there. No. Hold on, hold on. You're getting yourselves killed. As I said, you're getting yourselves killed. More mutilisks. I'm almost tempted to plop down a hatchery here and have an Idis Canal. It's a strategy, it's certainly a strategy you could use. We've lost a lot of mutilisks there. Not that they can't be replaced, although it's a bit of a pain. Uh, where are... I mean, that's one way to deal with that. Uh, it's not quite the way I was planning, but... <clears throat> So, group three here, group five here, group four. Group four is healthy, but we've got some spares just in case. Right, let's unload some units here. In fact, I'm gonna stick, I'm gonna do what I said. I'm gonna stick a drone in an, o in an overlord, and we're gonna put it over here, and it's gonna give us a route to put an Ida's Canal down. Then we're going to run rampant in the in the base. 
so we need we need the we can build the Nidus Canal here but we need the hatchery to provide us creep on the other side uh, there we go should have just remembered my hotkeys that would have been a lot quicker and these can hold here for the meantime we've got a drone here and we can also build from this hatchery but that's probably not the uh, best use of it you guys hold there for a second you pull back a second that actually benefited us more than it benefited them uh, lurker's gone now as soon as we can we get that nidus canal down yeah, that's, that was really badly placed Dark Swarm there. But we'll kill that Guardian off anyway. Useless just about survived as well. That was, uh, yeah. I mean, thanks. It's actually the AI's uh, um, defilers have been more, more effectively used than my own. So you guys go into there, you go into there. Let's get some hydralisks from here. And you're actually gonna rally into there. Uh, let's let's just let's just, just kinda go all, all in on this really. Right, here we go. No, not quite yet. Right, prepare for the swarm. I'm almost tempted to, in, in, to upgrade that just so it's got more hit points. Let's get some more overlords out. Um, I don't know what they're doing. Um, yeah, actually, they can... Oh, hold on. Let's just push back a little bit with these. Okay. Is that not... Are they, these not able to? What are they doing? Our forces are under attack. That was not what I wanted at all. Okay. So, guess uh, back to the drawing board on that one. Oh, I think I sent them to the wrong, the wrong Nidus Canal. I think that's what I did rallied him at the wrong place. You're going to rally your forces to this Nidus Canal as well. And then they decided to run the long way around. That, that's what happened. So, let's get these forces out here. I think we can actually kill those Zerg if we wanted to. There's not a need to. Our forces are under attack. I think we actually win if we just kill all the scientists. I don't know that we actually have to kill the entire base. Our forces are under attack. In fact, we're going to rally these here as well. Um, oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. You know what? We've got it. We've got. We've got this. We're going to let that base go. We can always get it back later. We're inside their base now. We don't have to actually go through the bunkers. They've got stealth at the entrances. It's fine. We can lose that. We've got enough static defenses here to buy us a lot of time as well. Um, you guys get in here. And then through to here. No. Nope. Uh, we need to be using our overlords to scout out their base there. How many UED scientists left? Let's kill them. Are there any more UED scientists we can get? Let's 
get these in here. Where's the last two scientists? Our forces are under attack. Should be some more UED scientists around. Where are they? How are we doing down here? Uh, let's send the mutilus back. I bet they're down here somewhere, hiding. We must have got them. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so, uh, with that, we've managed to repel uh, the uh, UED from Tarsonis, and I guess shown the weakness of their forces against uh, against our uh, their Zerg against our own. So, thank. Let's go over to the victory screen. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.